What is up everybody, this is Julian Powers, or you can call me JP. I'm your online certified personal trainer, coach, whatever you want to call it. Um, fun fact of the day, uh, again, probably a lot related to video games. I play a lot of video games, but shout out to the people that at the beginning of the Halo match, they see someone take the sniper rifle and they betray him. So uh, you guys deserve to go to hell along with me. Sometimes it does it, no, I'm just kidding. But um, today's video, again, is personal trainer vlog number two, and it's gonna be about uh, three uh, tips that I believe are good for uh, all personal trainers that are going to start out and go into the, uh, I guess you could say fitness industry, anything like that, um, sports, performance, whatever it is. Again, these are just my opinions. You may disagree with them. Um, I got them on my phone. I'm not going on Facebook, or but I'm just reading them off my phone. So uh, let's get started. Number one, and this is just my opinion, but work free before you work to get paid. And the reason why I say this is because Unlike a lot of the other industries out there, the fitness, or, I mean, other industries, like it could be anything. Um, it could be, even in, even in the fitness industry itself, being an MD, like a, um, a medical doctor, or something else, like let's just say you want to be uh, a judge, or whatever it is, any, any uh, well-respected uh, career. Um, in, in, comparison, in comparison to like being uh, in the fitness industry, the fitness industry is relatively easy to get into. Um, it's kind of, it's pretty flashy, so a lot of people want to get into it. I mean, everyone and their fucking mom wants to be a personal trainer, it seems like, or some type of, of uh, you know, something related to fitness. And uh, again, every, everyone wants to be it. It's, they all think that, oh, because they lift weights a little bit, everyone apparently knows what they, knows everything about there is to fitness. But and that's why it's good to work free before getting paid is because there are so many people in this industry, you, if you just get a basic certification, you are nothing special, to be honest. You are not special in any way. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people have certifications, okay? So you're not special. It's easy to get certified. Um, so if you think that you're going to get certified and you're going to be able to just jump in and be a trainer, yeah, you might be able to, but again, you're just going to be one of those watered down trainers and no one's really going to like you. I mean, to be honest, that's plain and simple. Um, uh, and by like you, I mean like, of course, they may be a cool with you when you're around them, but you're not going to be nothing that's super important to any type of, uh, any type of uh, industry. You know, you're not going to be nothing special. So me, again, I, I've never really gotten paid. Uh, right now, I'm get, kind of getting paid, but I've, I've never, I've been a personal trainer for a two, two years, a little over two years, something like that. Or I've done, I've been involved in this industry for about two years and I haven't even got paid at all for any personal training. I did some training at the beginning for free because again, one, I wanted to get experience, which again, if you are a new personal trainer, you cannot just read out of a book, which is a lot of certifications these days. You just read out of a book and you think, oh, I'm ready to be a personal trainer, which it's not, it's not enough. You know, you have to be hands on and you say, well, I mean, I, there's, that's the, that's the best way to get hands on is to do it before you get paid for it. Cause if you do it, read a book, you get certified, and then you plan to go get a job. When you see the person, in, when you get a person right up front, you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be confused. You're going to make mistakes. There's a lot that I've learned doing it for free. I've made, I've made so, so much progress from now and between two years ago when I kind of, when I started um, doing training for free. There's things that you learn from experience that you don't learn in a book. Don't get me wrong. Books are extremely important. I really like certifications. They're great, but again, you, there's so much you learn from doing personal training up front and in real in real life i mean you may have someone that says my low back hurts during this exercise if you again if you've never encountered that before you know what you won't know what to do you may have a person who is very confused on how to do a deadlift uh, uh, like i said a book that's not my book doesn't teach you they teach you how to do a deadlift but they don't teach you they and they maybe teach you proper flaws and proper cues but it, some people just say i don't get it i don't get it and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be pretty uh good on the fly, I guess is that's what I would say. But so working free for free before getting paid gets you experience. It helps you learn It gets your name out there. You could have a, maybe a list of contacts that um, if you get a job, you can maybe like a list of references you already have. I mean, it helps a ton, you know, it helps a ton. And that's what I would recommend. That's just my personal opinion. Some people say, well, I'm good enough or this person did it without working for free first. That's cool, you know, but I mean, you should be taking money for what you're worth. And if you just read out of a book and you have never actually trained anyone really before for a sense amount of time, your service really isn't worth that much because there are so many other trainers out there who have done this for years and years and years and years and years. Like me, I've already done this for two years and I've not ever got paid for a one-on-one -on -one or anything like that. I'm getting paid a little bit right now because I'm working at a school, but, uh, 
And uh, yeah, and I, I love doing it. But the thing is, you, and that's another thing too, is you can't be doing it for the money. You know, I didn't when I when I was doing this at the beginning, I wasn't salty. I wasn't mad. I wasn't like, oh, I'm not getting paid. Uh, it's not what it was. It was like I told myself, I want to learn. I want to get better. And when I do get paid in the future, I'm I'm gonna earn every single dollar, and I'm gonna know that they're getting what's worth it. And you have to kind of push yourself. Again, don't just work to get a certification and stop. Um, and this goes into my next point, point number two. Don't stop at one certification. That's just my opinion. Now, you may say, well, that's all I want to do or that's all I have money for. I don't want to go through school. Yeah, school is great. If you can do school and you know get a bachelor's in exercise science, become a PTA, a physical therapist assistant. On the side, that's going to be really complimentary. If you could get a degree in nutrition, that'd be super good. Or if you just get more than one certification, get maybe a certification in training, get a certification in uh, maybe like, I know the, the, not the CSES because you have to have a bachelor's degree for that, but some uh, organizations have uh, a strength coach uh, certification you can get or maybe a life coach certification you know or even if you get one certification and you keep studying buying books like buying a book on biomechanics or whatever it is just don't stop at one certification one book yeah again I, I did, you can check out my youtube i did a video on five different certifications in my opinion on them but if you're there's so much to learn about the human body Again, and this is why it's kind of annoying how it's so easy to become a trainer when you cannot be a good trainer in a few months. You cannot do it. It is impossible. Yeah, you might be good for a, a new a new person, yeah, but generally for, compared to everybody and when it comes to the, the amount of information when it comes to training someone, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of work and, and effort. So again, like I said, do self-study buy books on biomechanics, buy books on nutrition, just buy an anatomy and physiology book, take notes in the entire book, read it and don't just read it to read it, read it to know it. Again, that'll make you a lot better of a trainer, you know, just know as much about the human body and uh, watch YouTube videos. That's a good one too, because even if you watch some YouTube videos, um, not mine, that are shit like other ones, just kidding. But if you watch other YouTube videos where the person may be saying some really fucked up shit, shit that's not wrong, that, that, that's not right at all. You know something really ignorant you may think okay well I'm not gonna do that even if it's a negative a bad video you learn from it so uh, keep that in mind you know for you know just don't stop at one certification and again even if you do stop at one certification what I mean by that is keep learning keep studying buy books don't stop at one certification and only look at that book again that's, that's fairly limited and you're really gonna limit your success of being a personal trainer and number three this is a huge one too and this is for me too more I could name more than a dozen people, which I'm not going to right now, but I can name more than a dozen people that I follow on YouTube, Facebook, uh, that I've met in real life that I know no more than me. And of course I have confidence. I want to eventually surpass them, but right now I know that they know more than me and they are very educated. They said some things that, that just boggle my mind. I'm like, I don't know how they thought of that. And it makes a lot of scientific evidence. And then they also lead by example to watching them. And it makes me even more motivated to listen to them. That I know that are smarter than me, not smarter, but more knowledgeable in the subject. So is that you do not know everything. Please do not get a certification. Don't get one, sir. Don't act like you know everything when it comes to meeting someone in person. Okay. Because again, this, if, if you are always, always, always thinking, you know, everything I've, I've seen it too many times. I mean, I've just trying to be nice, just talk to people in person at a gym, maybe another personal trainer or the, the biggest problem with this is almost not even the people who do training. If you just watch YouTube videos, and you go to the gym and work out and you do a few programs and you've never really opened a book or not certified, you've never done school, you have no credentials, I'm going to be straight up, you don't know shit. You don't know jack shit. I mean, I feel like I know nothing and I, I have one certification. I've already read their uh, entire Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist book. I've had two years of experience. I mean, obviously I have other books I just showed you. Um, uh, I, I just I watched a ton of YouTube videos. I mean good ones from bad ones from good trainers I've worked with people a bunch of different body types. I, I work out myself I've been working out for years again. I was in the military. That's you cannot not work out on the military and I still feel like I don't know nothing There's so much about the human body like uh, that you need to learn. I mean think about microbiology. That's its own in-depth subject, you know think about uh, biochemistry think about uh, endocrine system i mean the hormone system there are people who are just endocrinologists that know a lot about the hormone system there's so much to know honestly just it's best to be confident but tell yourself that you don't know shit 
Because it's, and I'm not saying beat yourself up, but I mean, be realistic on the spectrum of how much knowledge there is. You really don't know much, you know? So when I see, when I talk to someone and I'm not even trying to be mean, but when I talk to someone and they, and I tell them, you know, that I guess a lot of people don't like being wrong. I mean, I've been wrong so many times that, and I, that's how you learn. But I, I've met so many people that I, you know, they, they tell me something and they're not a trainer. They tell me something that they're doing and I tell them, well, maybe this is a better way to do it. And they automatically say, oh, no, 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 no. And they try to argue it. And it's cool. You know, everyone, it's normal for people to want to debate, but they're, they just, so they, they think that they're right. You know, so if, if you feel like something's right and then someone has gave you another educated answer and maybe they have some type of credential degree, then yeah, you're probably you're you're probably wrong. So again, if you are, if you were just watching YouTube videos and you again you have no credentials, please stop pretending like you know everything. But again, at the same time, if you've studied on your own a bunch of books, I'm I'm talking about tons of books and you feel like you know a lot, like for example, I watched a podcast with Joe Rogan and Nick Kirsten the other day and Nick Kirsten, if I didn't know this, but he has no technical degree. He's never went to school, I don't think. I think he did one course. The co I forgot what course it was called, but it's not a traditional regular course. And I don't think he, I don't think he has any certifications. I'm not saying he doesn't read. He obviously reads a lot. Cause, but from him talking, he knows a shit ton about exercise. And I might not have agreed with everything that he had to say during the podcast, but he's extremely smart. One of the smartest people I've heard on a podcast. Like he's extremely smart. Like everything he said made sense. And even though on like one or two things I had a disagreement, just a small disagreement, everything else I agreed with him upon. And even those two things I disagreed with him on, I, if I talked to him, maybe, maybe he can explain it to me a little bit more and I would agree with him. So yeah, not all the time you have to have certifications, but I mean, I've met people who've never read anything. They say the most ignorant thing about, you know, training, like, or something that you just, you know, it's just, oh, that's obviously wrong. You know, like, again, the whole, you know, like, like things about in protein intake. I know people who say 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight, which is a ridiculous amount to take in. Almost nobody, if anybody on the planet, should be taking that much protein in. Um, it's way too much, even for bodybuilders. Um, but, I mean, if you're on gear, I don't know how much protein you need when you're on gear. Again, I wouldn't know that. But for a natural athlete, this guy was natural. He was disagreeing with me, you know, when all evidence shows that that's too much protein. So, again, uh, that was my last tip. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm going to uh, link my Facebook below. Please go check that out, like that page too. If you have any questions, let me know below. But uh, let me know how you guys like these videos. I'm going to keep doing these personal trainer vlogs. This is personal trainer vlog number two. Um, uh, it's a little bit easier for me. I am still going to do my other videos. So if you've seen the style of my other videos on my YouTube channel where I'm in front of the whiteboard, I'm giving you actual direct uh uh, exercise advice and knowledge. I'm going to keep doing those, but I like the idea of doing a vlog too for people that are want to be in the fitness industry. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Peace.